metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. some shades before I can look upon such sparkling radiance. Don't you flatter. We have a game to play. I won't go easy on you for the compliments. <laughs> now then, where were we? We were, I believe, at the part where you lose. That's not fair. You started without me. I had no chance then. Then maybe someone should have been on time. But I had a good reason. It was really, uh, super important. Oh yeah, sure it was. My mistake. I didn't realize that having shiny antlers is of utmost importance. You just don't understand it. Antler care is important. It's part of moose culture. The age-old tradition of young moose getting their first tines. We have to keep up with them. They're ours. Our antlers are our culture, our symbol. It's basically a hat. Symbol. Mm. Carlin, they are far more than a hat. Perhaps you would like a demonstration. Watch yourself. Don't get hit by a ball. Huh. That's not all. Alley-oop. You want more, huh? Here, try this. <laughs> I'm looking sharp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch this. It's an antler stand. It's fine. I've seen enough. Don't do it. <laughs> 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 Well, mm-hmm. Pulse is fine. His heart sounds normal. He's good. I think he just needs to sleep it off. But what of his antlers? Is there a chance they might never, um, grow you back? You mean those weird things he doesn't really need? Shh! Daco isn't exactly a spring chicken. That might have been his last pair. Once a moose starts to reach an older age, uh, they might never grow them back. Is there something you can do? He loved them. It just seems really sad. I can't change biology. Let me use a cutscene. All animals, including us, of course, are made of these little things called cells. They make up every part of us. Cells have the ability to divide. That's how they reproduce. And cells dividing makes us grow. We start off as tiny cells and become adults. Cells can't live forever. Some get damaged or get old and die. 
Luckily, they get replaced with brand new ones. This would come in handy if, say, you tried out a new chic bald style and regretted it. Those cells would get to work bringing you back to your feathered self. Uh, maybe we can grow back Daco's antlers. Hold your horse feathers. They can't just do whatever you want them to do. Yes, if a cell gets damaged, it gets replaced by a new one. But it can't do that forever. Eventually, there's a limit, like lives in a video game. And if you destroy cells faster than they reproduce, it's game over. Please, you look a wreck. Why not get some air? Go outside. I'd only be stealing the air away from the young people. Plus, now that my antlers are gone, I have more, um, free time. So now, I can do more nothing. Please, friend. They're only antlers. And none of us have them. Just leave me, Carlin, so I can be forgotten. I'm going to drown my sorrows. What happened to the energetic young moose that I knew? You used to love tackling a problem. You dive headfirst into it and grab life by the horns. Uh, sorry, excuse the euphemism. Oh, well, there are no horns to grab. You're not trying. The friend I knew would make science <clears throat> work for him. Surely you can make new antlers. Oh, if only things were that simple. No way could I just make them. Cells are way more complex. <clears throat> Then you think they are. Then teach me. Almost all organisms start out as a single cell. They divide from there and create all sorts of different traits. So our fur, feathers, and wool all come from the same type of cell as the rest of us? <laughs> Does that mean we can grow any new part from another part of our body? Not even close. Each cell in us has its own job, unless we're talking about stem cells. The first cells to appear in our bodies are called stem cells, and they're pretty unique. What makes them interesting is that they can turn into any type of cell. They could become bones, or fur, or... You know, a beautiful pair of antlers, even. Altogether, they eventually become the organism known as us. Once stem cells decide their job, they can't change their mind. This one hasn't chosen a job yet. Every organism keeps some around just in case. It's like they're an emergency repair team. The unemployed stem cells hang around lying in wait, but when something gets damaged, those guys jump into action. Some stem cells rush over to the damaged area and become whatever type of cell is needed. That's absolutely genius. We'll just find some stem cells lying around your body and tell them to build your antlers and they'll be better than ever before. Maybe you can give requests like blue antlers. No, it's not as easy as that. They're not that common. Even babies only have one in 10,000 cells. As we get older, those odds get worse and worse. My odds of having some are not phenomenal. Your face is phenomenal. <laughs> Once pin shrinks us down to the cellular level, our job is to find the bone and, uh, <sighs> moving on. We must find bone marrow so we can find our objective. And our goal is stem cells. Our chances are slim. Less than one in a million, but let's do it for Daco. Wow, what did Daco eat? Clearly he ate sales, Olga. an eye out, we're looking for one tiny stem cell. What a way to spend an afternoon. And I was just gonna watch Dancing with the Bears. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 
Just take me back to hibernation. <laughs> Everyone, a word? I can't thank you all enough. I'm amazed at the Herculean effort you made for me. You could say it's enormous. I have nothing but gigantic appreciation for the huge amount of work you've done. You could say that I'm falling over with admiration for my friends. One, two, three, four. <laughs> The idea of stem cells was first suggested by Russian scientist Alexander Alexandrovich Maximov. Wow, what a name. But stem cells were only recognized in 2007 when the Nobel Prize was awarded for their discovery. Our stem cell heroes are Mario Capecci from Italy, Sir Martin J. Evans from England, and Oliver Smithies from the United States. Thanks for your discoveries, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 